like that forever and God not deliver his people? God is going to deliver his people out of the hand of the wicked. Oh yeah, I believe in that. I believe he's going to deliver them out of the hand of the wicked. Because the wicked want to take it by force. That is something to think about there. The wicked want to take it by force. By using what? By using violent tactics. Wow. You know what? I plead the blood of Jesus on that one. You know, because every day in my life, I'm thinking like, man, the them, them ancient demons, they be trying to get in people. So people start turning into Pharaoh, and I be like, look, all it takes is one time for you to come against me, and God going to change everything around you. Stuff going to start dropping hot because you came against the power of God on my life. Everything going to start you know, going a different direction. And I tell you now, this is not a joke, you know. It's not a it's not a joke, uh, that the kingdom of heaven suffer violent. You know, when I think about that like you mean my heavenly father kingdom suffering violence? Oh man. Let me, what we got to do, God? You know, that's how I feel. Like, God, what you want me to do? How you want me to do it? You know, I'll roll with you to, you know, you guess how you got to communicate with the Heavenly Father. Be like, Lord, you mean they going to come at it like that? You came with peace and they came with a sword. You know, then when you be like, you know, hey, I'm about to do it like this, then they get double-minded and unstable in their ways. And I'm telling you, in this season, God is doing a new thing. Old things is passing away, not old people, but old things that that old violence tactic, you know, oh, we're going to do this. I mean, that worked on some other folk, you know, and the first thing people like to threaten people with is death tactics, death strategies. Well, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to do this, that, and the other. Wait a minute, man. Is that all you got to you? You know, because I refer back to this. The devil only come to steal, kill, and destroy. So, if you him, you know, I would love to have a meeting with the devil, you know, because he been causing a lot of hell for a lot of people. And, you know, for real, it will, it will really go down in a whole nother way, you know, because the uh, word got back to me that Satan don't like me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what up, homie? Is <laughs> you ain't gotta like me, you know what I'm saying? So I ready to roll on you anyway. You understand? They done got the word got back to me. Like the devil don't like you. The devil wanted to kill you. Oh really? So what up? And you know, don't hide and play hide and seek with me. 
you know, meet me where I'm at. You want to sh- show yourself approve. Don't be all scared. You know, you say what you will. And you'll find out there's another side of me that you haven't been introduced to. You know, because you got violent tactics and strategies. And for real, I don't really like that. I hate that. That's one thing I hate. God say love what he love and hate what he hate. And I'm saying this because I want to encourage somebody far and near, you know, to love what God love and to hate what he hate. That's scripture. To love what God love and hate what God hate. God don't like violence. Now, people may like it. The foreign gods that they may might like it and everything like that. But the truth of the fact of the matter of it all is this. If God be for me, then who can be against me? And the answer to that is nobody. You understand? Nobody. I ain't seen the person yet that formed something against me that, you know, some people, I, you know, God got mercy for. You understand? He, he got love and kindness for, and he let them go about what they doing, you know, because they help me. So I love, love covers a multitude of sin. But other people who didn't do that, they had an end. And you know what the end was? They not here no more. They not living no more. Because they came one way. So the the they got to count the other six ways now. That they choose to pick. See, that's what you got to believe as a believer. The enemy come one way at you with violent stuff. But guess what? They got to start checking off, you know, the other six ways, you know, or is God going to help them? You understand? Like, you came one way. Now, you got seven ways to flee, you know. I, I kind of gave them one off. I gave them, like, six ways to flee. You at least got seven ways to flee. <laughs> For real, if you come one way at a person like me, you better start counting seven ways that you going, you know, because you come at me one way, you know, start checking off like how God did King David when King David did what he did to Bathsheba and stuff like that. He didn't think that the prophet Nathan was going to come to him. And tell him what was up. And he knew what he had did. So God gave him, even the man of God, some ways. Like, he gave him, he didn't have to get to seven. He chose one of them, and God did it. So, you know, respect the persons. He'll do me like that, too. Like, hey, Calvin, I'm going to give you seven ways. Hey, so, if you come against God, he ain't no respect the persons. He give you seven ways. To, so, now that I'm sold out to that fact, I don't want to come against God and start checking off. Like, oh, I'm at number four, five, six, seven. Oh, Lord, what am I going to do? You don't want to get at those points where you at number seven with God. You don't want to get to the seventh way. That one don't look nice. Number seven. And that number seven one is deep. You know, 
when you come one way, you know, God might take somebody or something to get your attention. You know, it'd be like, okay, I gave you one way, uh, I gave you two way, uh, you got three way, uh, four ways, okay, five, you got six ways, and then you got seven. Now, which one of them you want to take place? Which one of them do you want to take place for coming against the people of God? Which way do you want God to judge you? You want cancer to overthrow you? You want death? To take you because some people like to throw death, you know, at people for real. Some people use that. I mean, all of all the time. This ain't just like you no know, one or two times. Every time they do something, they that's the main thing they like to do. Especially if they don't know God, it be talking about, man, I do this to you. Like, whoa. Hold on, Wody. <laughs> you better start counting your ways or what you want, and God going to give it to you and let you know which way. But then sometimes God is a merciful God, and if you repent, you get to start back at one like Brian McKnight. You can start back at one again. If you repent, one by, by, you know, by something, something going to get your attention and you're going to know, no, buddy, I think you need to hurry up and make a decision, you know, on what it is you want to do. Because if you come one way and do something you better start counting the other seven ways on what God is going to give you not even the person as a matter of fact a person can't even give you seven ways if I wanted to give you seven ways I couldn't that's how good God is (laughs) God will give you seven ways I'll give you one way for real, that's a merciful, loving God. God will give you a person seven ways. That's like, that's a loving God right there. That he loves people so much that he give you seven ways to flee. You came violently. Now start picking seven ways or he going to pick them for you. As a matter of fact, you don't even get to pick them. He is going to pick them for you. Because he your father, even if you make your bed in hell. So he's still going to get you. <laughs> so if it's only God can judge me, then God going to judge you in that state. Regardless if you're keeping the commandments, laws, judgments, and statutes. And if nobody else ain't judging you, he going to judge you. So you still going to get that seven way thing. I said you still get that seven ways. When the uh, people of God, you know, were to go out into the world and preach the gospel and things and people would reject them, God said it would be worse. It would be worse for the people who, I mean, for real, for real, I'll tell you like this. For one person to mess it up for that, man, I would tell people, I'd be like, look, y'all want to get mad at somebody, get mad at the demon that made it bad for y'all that came up against. You understand? Go check that person. You want to tell you where they at? You understand? 
So